I've always been fascinated by the world's empty places, wilderness, mountain and sea. Having spent all my adult life working in an office in London, I sought them out whenever I could. But I had never spent time in the desert before I started to research The Salt Road, a novel which is set largely in the Sahara and the countries that border it. I should explain how that came about. While I was in Morocco in 2005, researching a book that was to become the tenth gift, I met and fell in love with Abdel Latif, a Berber tribesman from the far southwest of Morocco. We were married. Five years later on, we are still very happy together. But I also found out that Abdel's roots lie amongst the Tuareg people, the nomadic herders and traders of the Sahara. You will no doubt have seen photographs of the Tuareg, tall, lean men on camelback, swathed from head to toe in indigo robes and veils that leave only their eyes visible. It's a very romantic and arresting image. What you may not know is that traditionally and very unusually in North Africa, the Tuareg have a matrilineal culture, meaning that wealth and status pass through the female line. Women are respected and accorded immense freedom, freedom to choose their lovers and husbands, to divorce, to raise their children and to go unveiled. The Salt Road is the story of Marietta, a young Tuareg woman determined to exercise those freedoms in the face of a changing world and a cruel war. It is also the story of Isabel, a woman seeking her own identity and the answer to a puzzle left to her in her estranged father's will. These two women, apparently worlds and centuries apart, are intertwined in a way that I hope will, readers will find sweepingly romantic, moving and poignant. My research carried me into the heart of the Sahara, a place of pure silence, endless dunes and a million stars. But the desert is also a place of immense danger and great hardship, the backdrop to the ongoing slow death of a people by drought and persecution. I have tried very hard to bring the epic beauty and harsh reality of the desert to life in this novel and I hope very much you will allow me to transport you there, that you will read and love this book and support it as you did. The Tenth Gift, for which I thank you from the bottom of my heart.